In this episode, we'll take a look at how to sync your audio and video if you recorded them separately using Final Cut Pro 10. Now, for those of us that don't have a ton of money to have cameras with time code and recorders with time code and uh, being able to sync them all up, most of us will need to clap. And that, <laughs> that is just to mark an endpoint for the video and the audio. And the way it works is you get your actor or your talent in front of the camera in frame with the sound rolling or recording and the camera rolling, and then you have them do a clap. I typically like to do three claps because it just is a little bit, provides a little bit more insurance if you're going to automatically sync using Final Cut Pro 10 or Premiere. The automatic method is the quickest method to sync your audio and video if you have a clap at the start of the clip. Here's how you do it. We first select the audio clip, and then we also select the corresponding video clip, command click. We right click or control click on those and choose synchronize clips. Now, when you first come in, you may only have these options here. If you only have these options, I would typically click the use custom settings, change this drop down synchronization to automatic, and make sure that the check mark is here for use audio for synchronization. Click OK and the job is done. Now, what we want to do typically is come over here to our inspector, choose audio, and then we want to uncheck this storyline. We want to turn off the camera audio because we don't want to use that anymore. That was just for scratch purposes, for syncing. So we uncheck that, come back over to our clip. We can now drop that down in our timeline. In this episode, we'll take a look at how to sync your audio and video if you recorded them separately using Final Cut Pro 10. Looks pretty good. Now, if that didn't work, don't worry. There are other things you can do. You can do a manual method, and let me show you how to do that. First, we'll come up to our audio clip. And what I want to do here is place a marker where the first clap occurs. So I will just play through. I'll stop as soon as I counter the clap, and I'll use my left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to find the exact spot where the clap occurs, and then I'll place a marker there. There it is right there. I press M on the keyboard to place a marker. Now we do the same thing with the video clip. Now in this case, it's important to go by the visual, and you can actually see that my camera with its own audio is off by a frame. The clap occurs here audibly, but it doesn't actually occur until here visually. We want to go with the visual cue. So we go to this frame, press M on the keyboard to place a marker, and we select those two clips, the video clip and the corresponding audio clip. Right click, choose synchronize clips. Now we use a different setting here. Instead of automatic, we'll want to choose first marker on the clip. Click OK. That created this new one here. What we need to do here again is turn off the camera audio. Now we can drop this down in our timeline. Let's see how that one did. In this episode, we'll take a look at how to sync your audio and video if you recorded them separately using Final Cut Pro 10. Looks like it worked well. Now, even if you may not have this option, just out of curiosity, <laughs> what is it like when you actually have time code? If you do have a larger budget production where time code was recorded to the audio file and to the camera file as well? Well, this is what that looks like. It's very straightforward. The main advantage of this is that it almost never fails. <laughs> so let me just show you what I mean here. So I've selected the time code clip. The corresponding audio is right here. Select that, right click, synchronize clips. Change synchronization to time code, click OK, and there we go. I can also turn off the camera audio, drop this down in the timeline. Let's see how this one did. Now in the productions with a significant budget, they will typically have a recorder that has a time code feature. All right, no clap on that clip and it's synced perfectly. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.